welcome. In this video, I want to use binary operation uh, to be specific, associative binary operation to uh, complete the table. So the question that we need to tackle is uh, complete the table below to define an associative binary operation on S, a set of A, B, C, and D. Assuming this is possible and complete the missing entries. So when you look at this row, here we have these missing entries. So we have to fill them in using what we call associative uh, binary operation. Now when we say associative, we mean the order uh, you, can, uh, you can group things. So if I have something like this, A operate B operate C. I can group these first. I can also group the first ones. I can group the first ones, work them out, then group the last one and work them out. The answer that I get should be the same. So this and that should be the same. Meaning, you can first associate these two, operate them, associate these two here, but for, the, for both scenarios, the answer should be the same. So we can group, uh, if we are multiplying, um, uh, more than three items, or if we are operating more than three items, we can associate them. Okay, we can associate these, we work them out, associate the other items, we work them out. The answer that we should get should be the same. Okay, now here we have to operate D, operate A to get the entry here. So I'll use this concept. I'm associating D operate A. So D operate A. Now, we, we can't use commutative, remember? So we have to use associative. Now, how do we use associative? We can eliminate one element from these two, which we feel is not helping us. When you look at A, this A, all the entries here are filled up so whenever we have A here, we can see that it will be easy for us to work with A because the entries here are filled up. So I will try to eliminate uh, this one here. I will try to eliminate this one, D. Now, where do I have D? I have D here, I have D there. So if I want, I can use this one to eliminate this one. This D is the same as C operate B. So if I want, I can say D is the same as uh, we have this D, so this is C operate uh, B. If I want, I can use this one, I can use that one again, but the answer will be the same. So, whenever there is D, I'll be replacing with this so that I make this D and work with this. So, I have C operate B then operate A. But since this is associative, I can associate this. I can group also this. The answer should be the same, which will be the same as C operate B operate A. Now, if I know this one, I can replace. Okay? Do I know B operate A? I have B operate A is B. So here, I will replace this with B. This will be C C operate uh, B operate A B operate A is B so I'll get B here for this now I can see if I can find C operate B C operate B we get uh, D so even here I mean C operate B we get D so even here we're going to have a D Use a different color so that you can see. We are going to have a D here. So what we are doing is we try to eliminate one of these two by replacing it with its equivalence. So D, if you look at here, we have D is the same as C operate B, or we can use any of these. So I've, I've used this one, C operate B, which is giving me this D. 
Now I'll put it here wherever there is D and I'll try to group this again. Now I can replace this with some value or some element. So B over eight A, which is this one, B over eight A is B. Now that we have C over eight B, we can easily find this one. So C over eight B, C over eight B, we get D. This is why this is going to be D. So this is equal to D. We come to the next one. The next one is D operate B. D operate B to get the entry here. So it will be D operate uh, B. Again, we know what this is from here. I can press. This is the same as. Uh, this is the same as C operate B then operate B. But again, if we associate these two, the answer should be the same. Equal to C, B, and this will be equal to C, operate B, operate B, grouping these two. Now, we see if we have this, so this will be equal to C, operate, so here I can replace these two by what we have here, B, operate B, we get A. So I'm going to have A. Now I'll look at C operate A, which will be the answer for this. C operate A is what? C. So the answer that we are going to have here is C. We come to this space here. We have D operate C. So I'll have D operate uh, C. This will be equal to I'll try to replace D with its equivalence here, which is C operate uh, B operate uh, C. So this will be equal to C. Again, I can group this uh, B operate C. Now I'll have to replace this. So this will be equal to C operate B operate C, B operate C is C. So we get C there. So this becomes C operate C. C operate C. What you are going to have is Z, C. So here, this will be equal to uh, C. So what you are going to have here is Z, C. We come to this uh, space which is here. The space which is here, we are going to operate D, operate uh, D. Now, D operate D is the same as D operate uh, D. Now, we know the value for this D here. Uh, D A, we can, so we can, we can remove one D here. We can remove one D and see if we can, if we can uh, solve. So if we try to eliminate this one using this, we are going to have, this is equal to C operate B operate D. So again, this is equal to, if you try to associate them, this will be equal to C operate B operate D. B operate D, B operate D, we have D, so this is C operate D. Now C operate D again, C operate D, we are going to have D. So even here we are going to have a D, so this will be equal to a D. So we are going to have a D on this particular entry. So every time you are taught to fill in an associative table, you try to see which element you can be eliminating because we are eliminating D because we didn't have a lot of entries in this particular uh, row for D. So you try to see what you can eliminate. You try to find the values where you have uh, D or the entries of D and this one you, you can replace by this operation C operate B. But you can also use these others. The answer will be uh, the same. The answers are going to be 
the same. Let's hope you've followed and you now know how to fill in uh, a table or complete a table using an associative binary operation. So for this and more videos, subscribe to my YouTube channel and thank you very much uh, for watching.